I would have just given a testimony. Because in the last couple of years, we have prayed with a theme. We came with a theme of balancing the boat. Then we came with a theme of order from above. And I want to thank my brother, His Excellency, the President, that he had the voice of the Lord. He went to the north and repented. He buried Okoya to bury the history. The ugly history had to be buried. That is a testimony we cannot ignore. It did not just happen. Your Excellency, it did not just happen. It, it is the voice of the Lord speaking to you. Let's bury history. And you did it very willingly. And we need to thank God as Ugandans. The king of Rezururu was returned recently. That is the voice from above. So I think we need to recognize that God is at work. So when we pray here, don't underrate the prophetic prayers that we, uh, we utter or we pour in this national altar. So I want to thank you for giving me this topic, Honorable David Bahati, to pray for the family. And uh, this is a very spectacular month, year rather, because my own elder brother celebrated 50 years of marriage. His Excellency the President, and you all saw it. He was very proud, and yet for me, I've celebrated 53 years of marriage. So I'm younger, but I've stayed longer. <laughs> and I think I've more experience than him. Praise be to God. Each and every one of us come from a family. And uh, you can see how the Holy Spirit works. When Justice Catherine stood up to talk, she started talking about family. And I was now asking myself, what am I going to say or pray about? She has already explained to us what the family is all about. But let us focus on the Bible, whether you read the Quran or the Bible. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 installs God as the father of the household. So the God is the father of our household. Then Paul, in Ephesians 3, dismantled the border. And he said, God, that I bow down to the God of our father Jesus Christ. And is the family of heaven and earth is the father. So you can imagine, all of us who are here, we are heading a family. Whether you are heading a constituency, you are heading a family of your constituency. If you are heading, heading a church, that is a family you must take care of. And God has laid rules. He said, you must obey the authority. You must obey your husband. You must obey the fathers. And they say, although I, I disagree with some rules, because uh, I don't agree that uh, we should all the time be submissive to husbands, even when he's a drunkard. <laughs> but uh, that's the command of the Bible. I think the pastors will tell me to repent and then start obeying. <laughs> we are here to pray. And I would like us, as Ugandans and East Africans and Africans, to pray for three forces that confront our families. First and foremost, which is hurting each and every one of us, born and reared in Africa, that there is a force from the bottom of hell attacking family wood in our society. That is actually attacking the very core of God's creation. God created, created whatever he created and he said, go he and multiply. So the moment you, are, you, are, you attack the very core of creation, you are attacking God. And that is this force which is called LGBTQ, the homosexuality forces. That is not just the mindset of developed countries against us, that is the force from hell. 
And the Bible tells us we are not fighting human beings. We are not fighting flesh and blood. We are not fighting Europeans. We are not fighting in Americans. We are fighting the forces of hell. And we must all rise up fast and pray. Because the Lord our God said, there are certain forces which need fasting. And I want the master of ceremony to be among those to be silent and listen to the voice of God. Amen? <laughs> Praise the living God. We are also going to pray. We are also going to pray against the, the forces of flood, which is challenging stability in familyhood. We, have, we are now confronted with unemployment, poverty, alcoholism, uh, they call it uh, domestic violence. We must pray against it. We are all confronted by those forces in our society. We must also pray against negative cultures and societal prejudices. I remember when Justice mentioned some multi-husband society, there was a lot of discomfort. Because when you talk about polygamy, men are very comfortable, even the born again ones. But when you talk about multi-husband, everybody, even a child, is uncomfortable. Uh, Master of Ceremony, allow me to break the tradition this is a very difficult prayer we are praying. May I ask you humbly to stand up. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It is not by accident, Lord, that you brought us today, the eighth day. And eighth is some symbolic in the heavenly powers that we are gathered here at this national altar father my god today we come in the power of our lord to uproot pull down and destroy any force standing against our prayer at this altar and we decree and declare that the power of god must take charge at this altar father my god today the forces of LGBTQ coming against Africa, attacking familyhood, and creating things imaginable. The transgender, the gay, lesbians, and all sorts of evil practices. Father, today, we decree at this national altar that this power will not invade Uganda. We uproot them, we tear them down, and we destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father my God, the law is a law, but you are a God above the law. Father, today we are going to ask you to stand against those forces. They may be too big for us, but they cannot be too, God, too big for our God. And Father, today we pray, whatever weapon is being sharpened against Uganda, because of our stand, hearing the voice of God and accepting to make a law to protect familyhood. Father, my God, today we decree and declare that any evil weapon against Uganda will not stand. Any evil weapon against Uganda will not stand. Any evil power designed against Uganda will not stand. Father, my God, we pray as parents, Lord, my Father, have mercy over us. If our forefathers, our fathers, our mothers did not mentor us properly, did not teach us properly, Father, we ask you to forgive us. As today, the theme is to repent. But Father, we pray that you release our children into holy marriages. 
you release our children, Father my God, into fruitful marriages, that we may look back and see our grandchildren and be happy and give glory to God. And Father my God, today we decree and declare, Lord, that as we pray today, we take our stand. And for me as a member of parliament, I will say the prayer of Joshua in Joshua 24. As for me, Cecilia Timogwal and my husband, Mr. Smart Ogwal, we shall serve the Lord and the entire constituency of Dokolo. And as for the church, you must declare for your churches. And as for His Excellency, the President, we will stand with you and declare, as for the President and the people of Uganda, we shall serve the Lord. And we all say, Amen.